When Harley was 18 months old, she woke up one morning really early. We had a very high fever, really out of the blue. We immediately took her to UF Health. They diagnosed her with a diverticulum cavity in her left kidney. We went four years without an infection, and out of the blue, we were hit with the worst kidney infection she had ever had. We knew this time it was major. We knew something major had to happen. We'd seen a lot of doctors, but when Dr. Bain, when we met him, John and I knew right off the bat, he was just like no other doctor we had ever met. I first met Harley heading into a call weekend. A nephrologist gave me a call and said, hey, Chris, I got this interesting case. The girl is sick. Do you mind taking a look at the pictures? It was complex and it wasn't just a simple imaging study or a simple test or a simple surgery because it was nothing that I or anybody that I had talked to had ever seen before. I sat down with Harley's family and we looked at the imaging together and Harley had four chalicele diverticula. Harley's mother said, but that's over half of the kidney. And I said, I know. Everything about the procedure for Harley was about how can we save this kidney. So we had to find a way to divide the kidney and basically eliminate 50 to 60 percent of it all with one internal plumbing system. The first time I operated we just weren't able to to see everything the way that I wanted to and so that's when I had Dr. Priya Sharma come down Interoperative ultrasound is very rare. It's not something that we do routinely, and this was unique to Harley's case. Dr. Bean had been using fluoroscopy, which is um, often what surgeons do in order to figure out where they are. Unique anatomy or anatomy that's not quote-unquote normal, sometimes that's not really that helpful, and you'll need to use another modality. Since ultrasound is a portable imaging technique, that's what allowed us to come into the operating suite with our machine. We were right there, right on top of her kidney, able to provide him with the imaging guidance that he needed in order to complete his procedure. Harley's anatomy, I felt like robotically actually gave me the best chance of being able to save the remainder of the kidney. And she would feel less pain, hopefully, uh, after the robotic approach than she may have felt after the open approach. We basically did as, as precise of reconnaissance on that kidney in the, in the OR as we possibly could. It took doing that to be able to say to John and Lindsay in the eyes, as a father myself, I think we can do this for your daughter. It's just been wonderful ever since. He, he saved our little girl. I will never forget that sight of walking into recovering, seeing all the nurses and doctors that had worked on that surgery, and including Dr. Bain, and they were all wrapped around her bed, waiting on her to wake up. And that right there was a testimony to how amazing these nurses and these doctors are and how much they cared for our child. Now that we've had this successful surgery, it's, it's like a weight off my mm -hmm. chest. I'd say don't give up hope. It's hard to do sometimes when they say they want to do an eight to 10 hour surgery on your child. Trust your doctors in the way they can do it. It's just nice to not have to worry about. Success in cases like Harley's just doesn't happen everywhere. And at UF Health, we, we had it all. All of the supporting staff, all the supporting resources. That's how you get from sick in bed, not even wanting to open your eyes, to coming in the clinic, smiling with a bow in your hair, happy. Everything that happens in between, that's UF Health.